out of that gym. Get on up. Thank you, Walmart, for the nice sleeping arrangements. And the round-the-clock security guy that rolls around these parts. But the caves that we are looking for today are not here. They're elsewhere. They're on the outskirts of Wilmington. Not the actual ones, because the actual ones were movie magic made out of latex and foam. But the ones that they were modeled after are right over there. But first, you like James Brown, Mary Santa? Get on up! Stay on the scene! Get on up! Come on, Santa! Get on up! Get, on up. Get out of that chimney! Get on up! But yeah, Santa Jig! Yeah, baby! <laughs> Happy that sun's finally out from behind the clouds. What up, baby? Welcome to the Pat Venture. Just got done in uh, Starbucks over there. Uploading the filming location. Oh, is the... <laughs> connected successfully. Or as she says, the Bluetooth is connected uh, successfully. Third day in a row, baby. What up? Welcome to the Pat Venture. Gonna be a fun day. Try and make it fun every day. They actually made like an Adirondack chair out of an old table of some sort. This is also the state line between Delaware and Pennsylvania, which gives me another opportunity to go in and out of a state really fast. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but I think this is part of a state park. There's parking right over there, so I think it's significant because it's Delaware's only cave. know exactly where but look here that's the sign of a, a horseshoe horses go on here too see the horseshoe clops all over the place no cave yet but this is still a really nice sight you can see all the old crops been taken down for the season bike path and Horseshoes lead through this way. Still have no clue where it is. I think they were growing corn because it's littered with husks over here. I believe that's corn husk. So they're growing corn over here. I'm like, Della, where is it, dude? <laughs> All I know is it's where the Beaver Valley Road and the Beaver Dam Road collide, which is right there. That's the Beaver Valley. You stop at a stop sign. Continue. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. Don't look now, but I think I actually found it. Right next to this creek. A little bit before that stop sign. They say a hundred feet before Pennsylvania. Delaware's only cave. Hope I didn't get mauled by a bear or something. That'd be my luck. I reading an article that said, the Indians just use this as shelter as they fished right in that river or creek or whatever they call it. Maybe this is it. Looks pretty capey to me. Any bears in there? Hey bear, if, if I'm interrupting your hibernation and stuff, just tell me to leave. You know, tell me to stop. Collaborate and listen. This, right here, is what they modeled it after. What they modeled their little meeting place for the Dead Poet Society. Pretty shallow. I think this is it. I mean, since Delaware only has one cave, I mean, it doesn't look like I have many options. Oh, does it go all the way through? Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, wow, really? So this is just an entrance. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, bear. Is there a bear? Hey. No bears? I know bears and foxes and stuff like to chill in here. So, you know. I mean, although that would get me a lot of views. Man, this is the Revenant in real life. You know, I'm not trying to do that. I think this goes for the best nature park I've ever been in so far. Damn. Damn. Oh wow, yeah. 
it ends right there. Or does it? Does it curve around? A lot of people think this might not be natural because there's a lot of mines in Delaware looking for stuff you would mine for. Whatever that might be. But it goes around. I'm trying to go all the way through it. I just wanted to get a look. I think that's right where it ends. I don't think I could fit through that hole. Can we see like soot on the roof? To make sure that they definitely lit a fire in here or something? Think that's what that black stuff is? So you can tell somebody lived in a cave. If there's like soot on the wall, that means all the fire hit the top of it. And they were cooking their fish that they just freshly caught. There it is. Delaware's only cave. Called the Beaver Valley Cave. I heard Wolf Cave. So that's why I was trying to be like, why are you calling it Wolf Cave? It's not Wolf with an E. It's Wolf as in, oh! You know, so I'm trying not to invade this person's private home space. You know, so. I'll let you guys be. Just chill. I'm trying to recreate the Revenant right now. Alright. There's the dimensions to that cave. 25 feet wide. 5 feet high. And the main chamber is 16 feet deep. 16 feet deep. With a crawl space continuing another 40 feet further in. The Lenny Lemon... Lemonopi Indians used the cave. The beavers in this region would be proud. Two firsts in a row. Yesterday my first play. And today my first cave. Covering a lot of firsts today. My first time wearing my new pair of gloves. I think acting would be hard. Well, these guys need to learn and like memorize almost three hours worth of dialogue. And there's no takes, there's no cuts. It's all right there. I think that takes a lot of skill right there. You know, like props to those guys. Lots of down trees. There's one here, one right there, and one right there. Another one in there. So, yeah, if you want to come out here and just like get some firewood or something, I don't know. I think it's a state park, so you can't park here. But can you take the wood? I don't know. It's possible. I know Grandpa would definitely be kicking himself like, damn it, if I had my truck on the road. I would go get that wood right now, and I would split it, and I would take it home, and I would burn it in my fireplace. There's another one. And there's a Honda Fit with Pennsylvania plates, which could only mean one thing. <clears throat> We're in Pennsylvania. If you walk a little further down the road, you can see the beaver at work with this waterfall. Let's just take a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds and respect nature. Just be in it. Be in the moment. If you're thinking about things, you're stressing out, just take this moment and be here, right? Be in this moment and only this moment. Take a load off and just chill out with me, all right? Take a couple of deep breaths in and out. Just focus on the sound of the waterfall. Nothing else. If your mind wanders away, without judgment, just go back to the sound of the waterfall. My boots say they're waterproof. I don't know how much. Let's give them a test. Nothing. Nothing yet. And I've crossed the waterfall, all dry. 
That's not a gimmick. <laughs> Damn! What the hell is that bird? That was majestic as heck, dude. I'll tell you what. To take the words right out of Adam the Woo's mouth. It's a little bit of nature and history, baby. Pennsylvania. Delaware. You can see just what kind of fish they would catch. This is a trout stream. It shall be unlawful for any person to fish by any means. There's a little railroad action too over here with a railroad turn. It's a treat. We've got a covered bridge. I haven't seen a covered bridge since like Binghamton and that wasn't even for cars. That was just for people. Smith's Bridge, 2002. There we go. Pretty cool. GoPro, stop recording. Hey, come on now, this is just not fair. <laughs> We're now in the town of Chad's Ford. I wonder what model he got. You think he got a Raptor? Or is he more of a Mustang type of guy? The sweet hiss of petrol. Entering my tank. That's right. Britain, I'm stealing your word. Sounds a lot better than gas. Kinda sounds like panini, but liquid. Whoa, 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 what am I saying now? I know. Speaking gibberish. Talking trash. You can recycle any of this if you want to say this in your video. Go ahead. Recycle it. Think we got it? Ready? Oh yeah. Alrighty, I think that's gonna do it for me today. If you like it, then you gotta put a ring on it. My brother put a ring on it. Did you see that video? It's on one of these sides. I still haven't decided. Hey, if you like it, maybe slap a like on it. Maybe subscribe. Some people do mic drops. I do full camera drops. It can take it. It's a GoPro 5.